All right, welcome back to another. Hold on, let me just let me just go over here for a second. Welcome to a, another episode on Survivorcraft, in which we um are building an underground house. So we left off right here, and uh, you can see there's a little stone brick down there. Um. So I've done a lot since last time I was recording. I it's been like a week and a half, I think. Um, so yeah, I, without further ado, let's just go down here and check this, this place out. So basically, my plan is to have this whole part be shown to the above, like be shown to the sky. So this is all open, and then as soon as you get down here, it starts to get closed off, and this is the stairway down to the rest of the base and get ready boom this took so long <laughs> you can't even there was chests right there um, yeah last time last time you guys or if you watched the last video last last time we left off there was uh, there was just this little room over here but I built up and out and I have I don't know what I'm gonna do with this part over here. I think that's just gonna be mine. This way, I'm gonna have um, there's this. This way, I'm gonna have a, like a hallway, like a really big hallway, down to a lobby area. Um, and that lobby area is gonna be huge. I want it to be huge, and then it's gonna that from there. It's just gonna be branches off, branching off to different places. Um, so this isn't the lobby. This is kind of like the beginning part of the base. Just so I can get a grip on exactly, not exactly what I want to do, but I, so I can get some ideas going. Like, I wouldn't have just come down here, built a giant lobby, and then rushed out. I don't know, I feel like that kind of would have been boring. Plus, if I was making a giant hole, I don't know. It, it, it gets me more motivated to know that I have a completed part of the base. Um, even though it might not be that as completed as I think. Like, it's not so complete that it's like, you know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, we have oh, um, a chest room in here, and so this is basically, this is a temporary chest room actually, and this is the first organized chest room I've ever had, um, so I think it's it's going pretty well right now, I just have to work out the kinks. Um, this is where all the wood is going to be, right on this wall, this is all the blocks, and over here this is all the items, so like you have potions, I don't have any right now. Um, anything that that emits light, so this is farming, dyes, tools, just, you know, uh, I have, oh yeah, I, I have almost four stacks of diamonds now. I think I'm going to sell the 45, um, Intel Cacti or something, just so I can get some money. So my balance is getting pretty low. Because I had to go to the mod shop to buy, um, a whole bunch of... Uh, granite, not granite. What do you call this? You know what I'm talking about. Whatever is whatever stuff makes this up. Um, hold on. Quartz. Yeah, I had to go buy a whole bunch of quartz. See, I know exactly where it was. So that's good. But yeah, before I make this big hallway, I want to make obviously. I want to make. Um, I want to make this, and that's going to take a long time. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do in this video, because digging this out is not... You know, it's not something you want to watch, right? Like, I might just turn on, like, a... I could, I could keep recording and start digging it out, and maybe talk about something, or I could turn on, like, a speed build. Turn on speed build. I could make it a speed build, and just have you listen to music, but I don't know, I feel like that would be boring. And I don't really have much to talk about all the time. And I think I'm going to run out of ideas fast. So I want to, I'm just going to play this by ear here, but I'm going to show you at Tall Cacti. Um, I think I should move some of this stuff to the base. I don't know, like, because that's a temporary chest room, because it's not big. Like, the chest room I want to have, I mean, it's going to be pretty huge. So. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave some of the stuff here for now. But, um, in other news, 
we have we're almost done with the beacon over here um all we got to do is one two three four five and this is one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine times four is 36 right and right here so 36 plus 5 is 41 i need 41 more iron blocks to make this beacon work and then after that i'm going to build another beacon over there by the uh pyramid over where all those torches are because that space used to be where um remember a long time ago there was that guy who called himself i forgot what his name was but he had a bunch of dogs over there and like cats and chickens and he was gonna establish like a town right across from our town which is kind of weird um and yes i understand the irony because marbleton is like right over there but i kind of consider it a part of our town at this point because it's like okay it's marble man doesn't play on the server anymore and nobody else has taken ownership of this place. Nobody else really lives here. And so I, I, I think this is kind of just a part of people's... I think people kind of perceive this place as uh, being a part of Tall Cacti, I think, because it's so close. And I don't know. I feel like it kind of just doubled and our town kind of just... Uh, got added onto as soon as he left but i mean i don't know the town is a mess right now let me tell you um we're trying to major needs to let go of these permissions over here and oh yeah i made this i didn't notice already because i'm me and lady Vi lady vivian mainly wants to make this town look good i really want to make this town look good but um as you can see we can't because there are claims that are hindering our ability to do that like this area right here especially looks so dirty my god it's like a dirty teenager's room me being a teenager i can you know can relate to that but whatever so i got rid of the cow farm over here because it looked ugly and i made that because my farm looked ugly and hopefully it looks a little bit better now so you know hopefully lady vivian is happier with that it's just there's so much more to be done you know, I, I, I'm not just going to do my own part and then be like, all right, peace, I'm out. You got the rest of it, Vivian. It's like, I don't know. It, it's, I tr I've tried making the town look better. I just don't know how to. Like, I, I really, because the town was such a mess before, so I decided to add in these walkways, right? If you remember that. And then it didn't really do as much as I would like, would have liked it to. I don't know. I, I just kind of hoped that people would continue to try and make the town look better it's i don't know something there's not that many people that live here too so it's not like uh it's not like the um it's like the town is constantly being updated and stuff like that what the heck what's that red thing hold on a second what is that red thing i'm a little confused Oh, is that just the fences? Because that's my house, right? Oh, no, that's my house. I'm so stupid. Oh, my God. Okay. It still looks bad. Like, cause, okay, if you go to... If you go to places like Rosebud and you compare them to this place... This place... I mean, I will say it's more unique. Like, it's more... It has more of a personality to it, I think, because it's like, there's... You can you can tell it's made by a bunch of players that weren't trying to work together to make the town look like one's, what, like, a project. But if you go to, like, if you go to... If you go to Rosebud, it looks like they were trying to build it together as one big project to make it look like a uh, fake town or something that was going to be in, like, a build or something, right? So... It just looks, it looks a lot better, and this place, this place might have more personality, but I just, I don't know, I just don't, I want it to be, I want it to look good, and 
I'm not sure where to start. Maybe I could look up how to make a desert town and see what they do there. Right, so. That's all that that was. I have been recording for 10 minutes. Huh. Well, I guess I can go dig this place out up here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I, oh, Jesus. I forgot. I need to... Oh, you know what we can do? All right, I'm not going to um, do that in this episode. In this episode, I'm going to make this hallway look nice. Oop, I just messed up my mic. Yeah, this is the original staircase, but it's not centered, so I wanted to make a new one. It was a pain. It still is a pain, because I'm still making it, but it's got to be done. So what I'm thinking is that I need to get some... Do I have the Acadia wood in there? I don't think I do. Or maybe I should make it like a wooded area? No, 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 I have an idea. Because this is going to be a... Right, right, okay. Sorry, I'm thinking to myself right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use stone brick, Acadia wood, and sea lanterns in there. I don't, I don't know why, I just really like sea lanterns. They look good to me. Like in here, it wouldn't look the same if it was glowstone up there to me for some reason. It would just look off. So... But I'm not just going to keep using... Like, obvi oops. obviously, I'm not going to keep using sea lanterns throughout the whole base, because that would look bad, because it's just not consistent. But for the, at least the most part, I want to try and use sea lanterns whenever I can. And that seems like a good place to put them. In fact, I might have to replace the lights down here. See those lights down there? I might have to replace them with, like, glowstone or redstone lamps, because redstone lamps actually look pretty cool. I just never use them, because... They're a pain to have to make. Cool, so that's one iron block. I mean, that's six plus, I'm gonna say maybe four plus three is, wait, what's nine times four? 36, nine times five is 45. Yeah, this is six, maybe seven, wait, no. What's 9 times 7? 63. Yeah. 7 plus... <laughs> 7 plus 4 plus 3. 7 plus 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 14 blocks of iron runner. Plus 15, I guess, because there's that one sitting there. Sorry. I'm... I need to get better at mental math. Oh yeah, this is just the miscellaneous chest. I'm gonna have like a sea chest, like stuff that I, yeah, that I get from the sea is gonna pull this out and put it in there. I just don't have enough, like, chests right now to do that. Okay, so what else did I want to get? Acadia wood. Do I have Acadia wood in here? No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Call of Cacti. Smash I also have a bunch of stuff at my old base, too, that I should go back to get. I forgot about it. I think I used all the Acadia wood on that farm there. Oh no, I didn't. Alright, I'm still gonna have to go cut down some trees. Some cheese. Some trees. Okay, over here I had a. Uh, whatever. Right, so I I also took out all that dirt that was over there by Marbleton, because I don't know why he just wanted it to be like a garbage dump area, hypothetically. Um, it looked really bad. And like I said, Marble Man isn't here, so I didn't think anyone would mind if I did that. In fact, I think people actually wanted that gone because it just looked ugly. I don't know what that is either. That's... That started out there, like, three months ago, and it just... 
I don't know what was what it was gonna be. I don't know if I should take it down or not, because it looks ugly as well. Maybe it just I don't know. Was there like a see like somebody was doing something here, right? But if you if somebody was trying to make like a building, you would think that it would be like lines, right? Like it would be clear cut. But maybe not, because Oh, uh, there is a design where it's like you can have it creep into the next build. Like maybe that's what he was trying to do. Then there's this. I don't know what he was trying to do. This just looks weird. I'm kind of curious to see what it would have been though. It's just me. Oh man, I'll tell you what. I have been waiting, 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 waiting on Hytale to come out. Because... If you, it's like you take Minecraft and Terraria and slap them together. So Terraria has all the stuff, all the uh, stuff that would be like mods in Minecraft, right? Take that, put it in a 3D game. That's like my, that's like Hytale right there, I think. And actually, what it looks like, what they're trying to do with it, is make it like a platform for other games to be made in, because. They're making it so that you can, when you load a game, you can make your own assets. And I'm not sure about the commands, but I'm pretty sure you can make your own commands too. So it's like you can code inside the game, make your own assets. So like if they have this thing where it's like if you go on somebody else's game on the in like the, the in the game lobby or something, I don't know what it is, but it's like oh Jesus. You scared the crap out of me, dude. Oh yeah, I also learned that mobs won't go across. Um, they won't go across. What is it called? Oh, they do. Never mind. Hold on a second. Let me test something. Go. Oh. Okay, I was trying to get cows over there. My cows over there to my estate. You probably saw them. But the cow would not cross over this track, and the zombie wouldn't just then, so... I think that's a... Either a mechanic that I never knew about, or a bug. Kinda stupid if it was a mechanic. Just saying. Anyway, we have... Let's get another tree. This is gonna be a very simple hallway design. Because I just want to get to the building of the staircase already. I think that should be enough. So let's just go back. And we have everything, I think. Right. Oh, I'm lagging. Right. Tell me what you guys think about this uh, space, by the way. I kind of want to change this in here. I thought it would look good with, like, cobblestone and these slabs. But it's not looking the way I wanted it to. So, I don't know. Give me feedback. I am not the best builder, but I like to think that I can manage. I just, sometimes I don't know how to make, some, how to make something look good. I have a friend Kyle though. You know, if Kyle was in, was in the shovels, was in the, uh, what is it called? You know, the Far Cry video? Kyle was in that he he's actually like amazing at building. Like I didn't he never plays Minecraft, but we started playing it on the Xbox. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. I'm so Oh man. I'm so I don't know what to think. Why I feel so disappointed in myself right now. How did I not see that? Anyway, what I was saying was Kyle is an amazing builder. He... He builds, like, things that are better than... Actually, he's on par with, like, the top builders on this server, I think. Like, if he really put his, put his mind to it, he could probably build the best stuff ever on this server. I don't know, it's just, it makes me jealous. 
he has such he has the intuition that I wish I had. The mind of like I'm creative, but only in the sense that I can make a I can visualize a world, but when it comes down to like if it gets to more and more details, then I can't like visualize it, I guess. Maybe I can visualize it, but I can't like it's it's a general visualization, I guess. Like I'm good at story storytelling and all that stuff in that creative sense, but like I'm not good at design and making stuff look good visually. So, which is kind of weird because I like, because I'm a rather, I'd say sufficient artist. I'm not like the best. I'm okay. But I don't know. It's weird. It's like, I can do art, but I can't do simple, like, you know what I'm gonna do here? I can do art, but I can't do simple, like, um, designs like that. It's weird. It gets, it gets frustrating after a while, because it's like, I sort of have, I used to have this identity about myself that I was, like, a creative person, and, you know, coming, it's like, and, and, Eventually, I sort of figured out that I wasn't as creative as I thought I was because, you know, kind of wake up after a while. But man, that that still bums me out that I'm that I'm not exactly where I want to be. And I guess I could train that, but it's not something that you can really. I don't know. Is it something you can train? Because you can work on can't increase IQ so I wonder if you can increase creative ability like is that a part is that a is that a, a st like a something that's related to IQ I can't tell actually you know what now that I've thought about it again now okay There we go. <sighs> anyway, let's get to a different talking point. So The Walking Dead. Oh boy. I'm kind of mad about it. Because I never watched The Walking Dead. What the heck is that? Did you guys hear that? That's... No. Stop it. Anyway, back to what I was saying, um, it's after season six, I was very disappointed with the show because I never watched The Walking Dead before. I never cared about it, um, but I started watching it this year just because I wanted to see, like, is it really that good? And it turns out that yes, it really was that good, but also after season six, it's like, when they kill Carl, I feel like the show just sort of takes a downturn because it's like he was supposed to be the one to pick up the mantle, right? The one to take Rick's place. And then because the directors didn't like him or because he was becoming too much of a... Like him and the directors or somebody on the up there wasn't, wasn't getting along with him. So they just killed him off. They killed his character off because they didn't want him on the show anymore. And I don't know... Personally, I think when they killed Glenn, that was when the start show started dying. But it still had a chance. Carl's death was like... Okay, that's the... Like, there's no going back from that. Like, that's the thing that's going to kill... Like, that's the thing I think that killed the show. Do I don't... No, I don't... Dang it. Okay. It's just one. And it makes me so mad because I thought that Caro was going to become the next Rick. You know, like he was, after Rick died, I thought it was going to be Caro that became the next Rick. That's, I think that's what they were like planning initially. But then they just killed him off. And I'm still mad that they killed Glenn too. Because like, how can you just kill a major character like that? I don't know. 
it's it's I don't know it's not like it's not a big deal because it's just a show but again it's like I just want to have I just I don't know I want to that's like a sort of show that I just I don't know I can't word right now you know what I'm trying to you know what I'm trying to say it's like on that sort of show people die so often I guess it feels like the characters of Plot Arbor, and they they thought to themselves, well, you know, it would be good, it would it would be better if we they thought I, mean, I think maybe they thought, well, you know, we need to subvert expectations here. We need to make it so that because everybody knows that the people in the Walking Dead have plot armor, so why don't we just kill one of them off, kill one of the characters off, because then we can. Make it so that just people go, oh man, nobody's safe. It's just, I don't know. I, they did it wrong, in my opinion. I don't know why I came back up here. They did it completely wrong. Glenn was one of, Glenn is one of my favorite characters. My favorite character is actually probably, I think my favorite character is Carl why I hate it even more that he died. Because, like, the show was something special to me, because it was like... Oh, that's why I can't... I went up there to go get the wood. But, uh, okay, so the show was something special to me, because, like, you guys, if you've been watching this series, you know how much of a... how much I like to talk. Or how much I... Maybe not how much I like to talk. How much I like to talk about things that interest me. And... Oops. Wait a second. And one of the things that really interests me is the sort of thing that, that show would present. Like, it's not something that I was really th would, that I would really think about before, but it's like it really showed the human condition and like what would happen, like what happens when chaos is at your doorstep every second of the day. And I don't know, watching a show that I thought so realistically portrayed the human reaction to something like that, that you can think back, like if that was in history, you could think, man, you know, those guys were rough. They had really had to fight it, to fight the world, to survive it, you know? It just, it creates so much, it, it's so, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's so deep to me. And the fact that they sort of just took that idea and sort of, they didn't ruin that idea, they just sort of ruined the show that was presenting that idea. It's just, I don't know, it feels like a waste to me. It feels like a, like a blow to the gut, I guess. It was a good show. It was a good show. I'll keep watching it just to see what happens, but... I'm not going to expect it to get any better from here on out. But anyway, that's my little rant. Um, we did the hallway today, and hold on, let me get this little thumbnail here. Let me get this little thumbnail here. Boom! Thumbnail. Or I'll just do the outro as soon as, well, as I do this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I, I know I took a long hiatus, um, but I'm I'm back now, and I hope that I keep making videos. So, yeah, I still won't post as consistently. Probably I just I just want to I just want to keep posting on the server because I I like the server, you know. After more consideration, I figured that I'll keep playing, and I don't really need a lot of people on the server to be happy with it. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Uh, peace out.